um, but that sort of thing, right? Yeah. So a key that tells me what the colors mean. Second thing is, please uh, don't use this funny little thing that looks like a chip for the interface module. Okay. It just it's extra noise in the okay. thing that doesn't make sense. Okay. Um, also, um, what is this? There's a pressure transmitter. I just decided to do draw this like that. But if you want, I can just make a it. box. Yeah. Just okay. Make, just make a box. That's perfectly fine. Um, because it, it's that you like it makes you think. Why is it drawn like that? Right. Okay. Um, so this is a pressure transmitter so here's what I want I want to walk up to this diagram and I want to know the part numbers okay. and which one this is which pressure transmitter is this and which one is it connected to in this module this is a block diagram it's not really a, a, a wiring diagram this needs to describe that system to okay. the point where Anything I look up here, I can point to it's there, right? So which pressure transmitter is this? Which relay is this? Um, this says cryo solenoid. So, okay, that at least I know which one that is, right? But what are the part numbers for these solenoids? What are the part numbers for all of these, all of the different things? That's really important. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know what module with four thermocouples is. Oh, it's a like a each interface module has a four thermocouple on that. I just put it inside the box. So this is an interface yeah, module. Yeah, technically yes. This one I just and instead like a drawing each four four thermocouple, I just put it inside the box. But okay, so that's fine. But again, I want to know which. I want to be able to say which interface module goes to which thermocouple and which thermocouple goes to what temperature. Okay. Right? So I can say, hey, there's a thermocouple on this line or this valve, and it's thermocouple five. Oh, I can go here and see it's thermocouple five, and it goes to this interface module. So now I don't have to trace the wires. I can come to this diagram, see it's on interface module five, wire three, and now I can, you know, fix it or do whatever I'm doing, right? Okay. All right. So, um, yeah. So way more detail, um, way, 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 way more synchronization between this and what's there right like i already like all those uh pressure transmitters mm -hmm. those are already there right so you should label the type and number right away the other thing is i want to know what these interfaces are like just a green line that says data that's not okay because there's different kinds of interface, right? So somewhere there should be a label that says, you know, 420 milliamps or I squared C or whatever. Okay. okay. Yeah. So it should it should tell me what those are as well. What is blue? No, I just picked the blue. It's just coming from the laptop to the uh, H, that, that's H. can. Yeah. Okay. So blue is can. Okay. Uh. Go ahead and, and put a, a, a module for the CAN to USB adapter here. And I don't know what button means. Oh, it's just <laughs> laptop. It doesn't mean okay. anything. Okay, and then here's your, and there, there's the main power switch. I want to know the part number of the power switch. I want to know the part number of the boost converter. Um, I want to know... Yeah, that's enough for now. Okay. Um, just so just do a big revamp of all of this and i want to see this uh today's tuesday mm -hmm. i would really like to see this before the weekend if at all possible this is now more than on fire it's nuclear pop fireball fire because i don't believe you guys know your system well enough um because you don't have this diagram okay so like how many thermocouples are there on that system right now do, None. do you guys know? No. There's, None. We haven't put any on there. You haven't, but there are there. They're already. You guys don't even know, right? So you don't even know how many thermal thermocouple boards you need, right? So your job is to get this to the point where everything that's already there is on this, and everything you're gonna do is on this, because you don't know, you, like, you don't know the top level 
really important things like you know how many pressure transducers do you got pressure interface boards do you need so put things on there already even if we're going to take them out you're not going to we're not, not gonna, taking anything out is what you're saying are you are you guys going to replace the pressure sensors not that but i'm just saying for everything else like the thermo cover couples that are on there just now means we should just know what's in there like okay. we should just know every detail yeah, that's right. You should know every detail. I'm not telling you to remove anything that's a sensor, right? Because you're going to leave all the sensors, right? Yes? Sure. We might well, be swapping thermocouples. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, that, that's fine. Okay. Uh, sorry, I, 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 well, I, 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 think I don't care. We will have a thermocouple in every spot that they've got a thermocouple. Yeah. We that, might, might be a different physical thermocouple. Right. So, that I, so I should have a location, at least in this block diagram, of where the thermocouples are. Okay. If you guys switch the thermocouples, that's perfectly fine. That's great. Right? I don't care what they are, as long as it's indicated here. Right? Okay. And do you know how many thermocouples there are right now, for example? Ten. There's ten? Can they use On a there? I don't oh, no. know right now. Right. Okay. So then you don't know how many boards you need to build. But we're going to use twelve. That we know. But what if there's fifteen on there right now? They gotta go. Oh, we <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's not how that works. <laughs> so how we can find it. We can open it or look at it. Uh, you can find it in like three different ways. The first is you can go to the um, capstone, uh, old capstone folder from the mechanical engineers from last year, which you already should have done and already should be looking at and know where that is. The second thing is you can just go in there and look and see where all the wires are going. Right? You guys can rip up, rip off the uh, the sheathing the plastic sheathing and just trace it to the lab jack right okay so yeah so like nuclear fire figure out what's on there right now what those part numbers are what you are going to replace them with or not and get it in this diagram okay right because it may be that we need to order more boards right i hope not because we we already ordered them but like that's the kind of thing you can't just take a guess you gotta know right okay yeah good go is there anything else you guys need from me?